Hello Dotties, thank you for joining me. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I feel like I say that every time, but it's true. Um, I wanted to show you, and if you can see, I've got a giant stack of things going on here. I wanted to show you what I have been using this whole year. It's kind of a review. Um, I'm going to start with the Compact Holborn. This was my very first Filofax. Um, before this, I was just using, you know, just my phone to try and keep everything organized. And let me tell you, that wasn't really working. Um, and loose paper, and yeah, that wasn't good. So I quickly found that my Compact Holborn, although gorgeous, and I can't just tell you enough about how beautiful and how wonderful this is. However, the rings are a bit small and I found that I couldn't use it the way I wanted to use it in order for it to work for my everyday carry um, to organize my life. However, I am using it currently as my wallet. And I might be doing another review on this as my wallet. I believe that I have another video already. And if I do, I'll post a link in the information bar. But like I said, I'm using it now as a wallet. Um, I graduated to a personal size. As you can see, the rings are a lot bigger than the compact was. And I was using the DIY fish. I don't know if I'm ha if I have them in here. Yes, I have stuff. I was using the DIY fish um, in the personal, and I loved it. However, I have really big writing, um, and so I found that it just wasn't enough space. Um, sorry if I'm saying um too much. I found that there really wasn't enough. space base for me to write everything and I needed I needed more so I graduated from the personal size to the a5 and the a5 is amazing I love it this was actually the holy grail for me I wanted this beautiful eggplant color Malden and it works great as a home notebook so I still have, you know, information in here that I use all the time, but it stays home because I found that although it was wonderful and I had tons of space and it, it really was amazing, I found that it was too heavy because I was carrying this. I was carrying my Holborn as a wallet. Um, you know, I had a little makeup bag, I had a little emergency bag, and all that was just weighing my purse down and it was starting to make my shoulder ache. Um, and every night my poor husband had to rub my shoulder because it just happened to be way too much. Um, so although I adore, adore, I can't talk enough about how much I adore the A5 Malden, it was too much. And I had to move on from this to something else. And at the time, I had been looking into bullet journaling and I found this small scheme, the large size. And I, this one I definitely do have a video on and I can put the link down in the information bar for you. Um, I was using it as a bullet journal slash hybrid. So you can see kind of what I have in here. And you know, there's the monthly and I did have forward planning. And I'm sure you've seen this on, on Instagram or on Pinterest or even here on my YouTube um, channel and this was working great I really did love this system and I still truly do love this system however I found that I wanted to have um, like a section for my resources but I didn't want to have to rewrite those every single time I would fill out a notebook so and I still wanted to use my DIY fish. I mean, I love my DIY fish. I, so I kind of wanted to do a combination. And I've been looking on YouTube and I've been looking online at all the groups that I'm part of and found that there was a thing called a Midori. So I graduated to the Midori. And 
I'll kind of run through really quickly how I was using it. I got this one at Two Boots Trading Post on Etsy. And it is very nice. It's really lovely. I do love it. Um, however, I found that it was a little restrictive in the size. But let me show you. Basically, it is a leather cover that has, you know, in this case it has four strings on here. And all you do is string your notebook, whatever notebook you're using. You open it in half and you string it through. And that holds your notebooks. So obviously I'm not using this one anymore, but I do have the notebooks in here to show you. Let me move this out of the way. What I was using is the DIY Fish, the classic size um, Midori inserts. And it has the monthly. It has the trackers and it has two boxes on here for you to, you know, track whatever you want. And then it also has the weeks and a blank page. So I was using this as my calendar and I was using a separate notebook as my bullet journal and really it turned out to be hybrid. I don't use it as the original bullet journal was meant to be used. I I started out, I decorate first of all the monthly page and then I started using the chrono decks and the bullet journaling and just journaling in general. So let me show you just, you know, a few of the pages. This is my Chronodex. Um, I also incorporated sometimes, you know, little little journaling cards. And there were days where I would journal a lot. So this is this is this was amazing because this took over for my Moskeen large. And this is actually a Moskeen Kayer, I believe is how you say it. Um, and I had cut them down. That was one of the other things that really bothered me using this Midori size was that I had to cut down the Kayer. And I found, first of all, I'm not very good at cutting. And so it wasn't even and it drove me nuts. Um, I am a little OCD about having things be a certain way. And this was just not... <laughs> it was not great so I looked online and watched videos and found that Jonelle Imutan I believe is her name made these gorgeous 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 covers and it is veg tan leather and it is somewhat stiff because I found that I didn't really like it being too too soft um, if I was going to be using this to write, I wanted it to be a little stiffer. And when I throw it in my bag, I don't want to have to worry that, you know, something's going to happen to it. And I don't mind scratches and I don't mind, um, it getting, you know, dirty or whatever. That's what it's meant to do. Um, sorry. I had a headband sitting around at home that I wasn't using anymore and I made a pen loop with it so basically the headband just goes around the cover and what I did was I measured it cut it sorry about that you know had to pick up the phone um so yeah I made them I made the loops with the extra material and now I can carry my pen with me all the time and I don't have to worry Basically, I did this because I don't like the clips. I just feel that they're a little too restrictive and um, it weighted down in a, in a weird way and I, and I didn't like it. So, this is what I'm using this year. I'm going to do a separate video kind of doing a, um, not necessarily a review because I love it. There's my review. I love it. It's amazing. I, I'm going to be buying another one soon and it's going to be a trifold and... Yeah, I love Janelle, okay? Um, she's on Facebook, and then on Etsy, her shop's name is Janelle Fish. 
so I will be putting a link down in the information bar um, definitely if you're thinking about buying a, a faux dory she is amazing and her prices are reasonable and she does these um, you know individual you can tell her you want certain things a certain way and she will do them for you uh, for example let me just give you a quick peek I believe this is called the adventures I'll get the exact name and I'll put it in the description box but it's um, the adventures color and then she also does the inside for me it was this beautiful aqua this this is just a beautiful pop of color um, on the inside of my notebook and and I love it um, and I had asked her to do two closures just because I wanted to feel secure that with all the stuff that I've gotten here going on that that I had the two bands there to just make it even more secure so basically that was my year um, my review of all the things that I've used so it was the Fodori the Midori the Moleskine Large the the A5, you know, Filofax, because I have others, not just this. The personal size Filofax, and then the compact size Filofax. Oh, and I totally forgot. I also used a mini as a wallet there for like a month or so. And I just found that that was too tiny, 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 tiny for me. So there you go. That is my year in review. I hoped that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in, in the comments section or any comments, of course. Uh, don't forget to rate, to subscribe, and don't forget to follow the dots.